Hello. Mm. Good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you how to mm, customize create user wizard control, uh, which is used for the registrations in ESP dot net. This is the default control uh, provided by Visual Studio and their teams. Uh, so in this video tutorials, uh, we will learn how to um, customize it like uh, how to remove the security questions and uh, and many others um, extra fields um, added in in this form so um, there are various uh, types of error occurs when we remove uh, security questions because uh, this fields and uh, this page actually linked with uh, web.config membership pages so <coughs> If you want to uh, remove some fields from uh, create user wizard control then do this which is uh, I doing so uh, add a new project and a new web form in the page and add a create user wizard control from the toolbox okay so it's taking time basically uh, this control provide the um, features of security so uh, don't use the un other controls uh, or you can say the other uh, things um, like uh, the custom registration page uh, do not refer uh, I think it's taking too much time to uh, creating the project of a uh, website 39 yeah website 39 is successfully created now add a new web form or you can take uh, that type uh, that page also but um, in this video tutorials I will take a new web page to demonstrate clearly okay now uh, there are three types of role uh, which is uh, entered in the uh, web.config file that is profile that is membership and membership role okay so add a new web form and design add a create user wizard control that is uh, uh, built different types of um, create user wizard steps okay so customize create user uh, user steps these are the steps I want to remove this security questions from the create user wizard control now also remove their row, modify delete and delete rows that's fine also remove the security questions and remove that row delete row. okay that's fine when we run it then get error and what type of error let's check <coughs> actually uh, provider uh, types of error uh, you are getting and security issues is mandatory for uh, default grid user wizard control so um, that types of error you are getting uh, in create user wizard steps because uh, without defining your membership in web.config you got error always so default membership provider must be specified okay this uh, types of error occur because you do not define the provider okay so in the web.config sections that membership and the providers in which we can take uh, in which we can add uh, um, our provider like uh, the connection string so add a new value in the provider add name 
equal to SQL data provider ASP net SQL because uh, that tags define the membership so ASP net SQL membership provider type and what types of membership provider is system dot web dot security system dot web dot security is a namespace or you can say the assemblies dot sql membership provider that's fine connection string is above defined that is default connection connection string name equals to default connection now copy and paste it that is already uh, created in visual studio 2012 forms and uh, let us also if you want to remove the security questions so uh, define the security questions is enabled or disabled so application name is simple application so now the question is security and the basis on the security questions you remove the security questions if you refresh it then get another error that create user wizard step content template does not contain an editable text control with the id questions for the security questions that types of error you are getting uh, now in the membership you can add another uh, attribute that is require require questions and answers answer equals to false okay now refresh it and let's check it yeah it's properly working so uh, let's watch and uh, keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp.net um, these things similarly uh, if you want to add another fields in it then use the profile providers okay this is the membership provider you can also use the profile providers okay and uh, also use the role managers so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp.net thank you thank you very much